All right, guys, we're going to get started here in just a second. I'm going to be making two rings out of this 2020 Silver American Eagle. I just have to get things a little set up, and I'm just waiting for a couple more people to show up. Uh, so bear with me. Hang out for a second. This is going to be pretty cool. We're going to make this into two rings today. do that hello 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 welcome to the live guys i'm coin ring maker i make coins into rings if at any time during this live you guys would like to uh check out the rings i make and see where i sell them you can click this picture right here and click the link in my bio or you can just go to buycoinrings.com I just set up a new website just for my store because it seemed like people were having a little trouble getting from uh, coinringmaker.com to the store. So you can just go to buycoinrings.com and uh, go right to my store there. But there's also a uh, link on my profile, which you can check out. How much is one of these worth? Uh, they can range from like 35 to like 50 bucks uh, if they're just like out and about been handled like this um, some of them are a little more expensive ones minted at the West Point Mint they're hitting like a hundred and fifty two hundred dollars yeah this is an uh, American Silver Eagle and uh, we're gonna start punching holes in her real quick if you guys want to see this get made into a ring, go ahead and type ring into the chat. That's that's one of my favorite things to see. It's just a bunch of rings popping up right here. So if you could do that for me, uh, we'll get started. Now since we're going to try and make two rings out of this, we're going to do two different size punches. So the first one I'm going to do is the biggest hole punch I have. This is gonna be a three quarter inch hole we're gonna punch in here. And to do that, we're gonna set our coin in this. And this is gonna auto center that coin. And here's our punch. And we'll just auto center this, get everything nice and lined up. And this actually has a nice little hole on the bottom here so you can see how well it's centered that looks pretty good to me and i'm sorry if i'm missing any comments or questions i kind of got to look away from the screen for this part uh, but we're going to put this under a 12 ton press and just pop it right through Pull that punch goes all the way through and then here is our center punch looking pretty cool <laughs> there is our punched coin it looks pretty good to me. That's a pretty good clean punch in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to punch a second hole in this center punch. That's going to make our smaller ring. So for that, we need a different punch and a different guide. That's going to be the 7 16 punch. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please uh, feel free to tap the screen. That'll get a couple more people in here and it lets me know you like what you're seeing. So I'd appreciate that. And again, this is just going to auto center as part of a coin here. And you can peek it on the bottom. Get our punch there. Let's see if we can raise this up enough that it will fit. may have to drop my press down a little. 
that's pretty snug. All right, it's gonna fit, nice. Sorry, we don't have the best angle on what I'm doing. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and pump this one through as well. And there's our even tinier center punch from our American Eagle. Pretty cool little coin here, huh? You can see that's all silver right there. Very nice. Pretty. Let me get this out of here. And take a look at our second ring. We're about to hit 600 likes. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. That's what that looks like. Looks like you got a bunch of eagles, wings, and a little bit of the shield, and some stars. So this should make a pretty cool little ring. Uh, this is kind of an experiment for me today. I'm just, I'm, I'm testing to see if I can do this, to see if I can make two rings out of one of these. So I appreciate you guys joining me. We're just going to soldier on. Keep on ringing. For anybody who doesn't know, you can order coin rings from my website by tapping this button right here and clicking the link in my bio. Uh, from there, you can see all the different types of coin rings I make. I make lots of different cool stuff, so you're bound to find something you like. So the next step here is to deburr the inside cut edge of these. That's actually quite sharp and sheer. So I'm going to take a deburring tool and I'm going to catch all the silver I can in this little bucket. And we'll try and get this camera set up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully my hand doesn't get too much in the way. But uh, the little one shouldn't take too long. The bigger one might take a sec. We're just going to clean this up. And this is going to reduce the chance of the ring splitting as we start stretching and shaping it. And it's also going to make the ring a lot more comfortable. Getting rid of that sheer edge. nice and smooth now this is kind of a slow boring part so if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen sending some likes my way that'd be pretty cool go and I'll we'll go ahead and deburr this bigger piece what kind of tool is that this is called a deburring tool I think it's generally used for uh, getting rid of sharp edges on pipes so it's usually in like plumbing sections and hardware stores but it is like perfect for cleaning up the cut edge of a coin
do a little field test, make sure we got it nice and smooth. That should be pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and anneal these. You're very welcome. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, technically, this isn't currency. Um, I don't think. I don't think American Eagles are currency. Maybe they are. Um, but I do have a blog post about the laws around this on my website. Uh, basically, you know those penny smashers they have at amusement parks and aquariums? You ever seen those? It's basically the same law there. Um, as long as I'm not committing fraud, which would be like taking a penny and making it appear to look like a dime and then trying to spend that, that's illegal. But making jewelry out of money has been done for hundreds of years. There's thousands of people across the globe who do it today. No one has ever gone to jail for it. So don't you worry. I appreciate you worried about me, but, uh... I made sure that this is okay. Alright. What's going on, man? Um working on a little experiment today we've got an american eagle and i'm trying to make two coins out of the same or two rings out of the same coin which is pretty cool and i kind of want to get like some example photos so i can i can put this on my website as an option uh, so that's what i'm doing these are going to be my like proof of concept and demo rings i'm pretty excited about it I really, really like the detail on this smaller one. I think that's going to come out looking really cool. And then I'm going to do this one with the date on the outside, even though the details on the back are also pretty cool. Um, I want to see what it looks like with the date on the out outside. Any sights on forging? Um, I haven't done any forging yet. Um, I am about to use a little bit of fire annealing, uh, but I haven't, I haven't smelted, um, <laughs> nice. You want to start making knives? There's a lot of good knife makers here on TikTok. I follow a bunch of them, but I personally don't make knives. I make jewelry. So I'm just trying to find a marker real quick. Give me just a second. I don't, I don't see my dry waste marker. We'll wing it. That's correct. Yes, yeah, is it's only legal. If if you're committing fraud or like trying to just melt it down for the metal value, you, know, you can't really do that either. So what I'm doing right now, this is called annealing. Uh, this is a process where you heat up the metal to a certain point and then you dip it in water. And that's gonna make it softer and easier to bend and work with. Uh, Silver is pretty soft already, but we're gonna do a lot of bending on this. So any little bit of give we can get is gonna help us out. And I'm just looking for any kind of color change on the surface here. getting a little red. I'll say that's pretty good. And this is kind of
kind of satisfying. Let me know if you guys like this. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude, I'm actually doing stuff. Not some girl dancing or just staring at you saying, Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for complimenting my smile. Oh, that's so nice. No, no, we're making stuff in here. So feel free to share the live, guys. You know, actual content happening. And it's pretty cool, too. Like, we're making rings out of a American Silver Eagle. Pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are liking it. Here's how that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and do some some starting folds on these. Get my proper tools together for it. Try not to lose them. And we need this. Let's see where this will fit. Want to fit in here? I think so. I'm making rings out of coins. It's kind of my thing. You see my uh, username up here, Coin Ring Maker. It's also my website. If you want to check it out, I've got a link on my bio. I happily make a ring for you if you ordered it. So we use the doming block and then the ball bearing to get that first fold there. Looks pretty cool. Those stars kind of went away. This silver is a little softer than the copper I'm used to working with. So let's see. We can kind of put a cloth here. That's almost too big to even fit in there. We're going to need to put this in something else. It's my American Silver Eagle folding cone. go. Come on now. I'm just trying to get this nice and centered so it'll fold evenly. There we go. Oh, dang. We got quite a few more people in here than the last time I looked. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen, sending some likes my way, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you're not following me, go ahead and follow my account. This is a 2020 Silver American Eagle that we're slowly turning into a coin ring. But not just one coin ring, two. I'm going to make this big one and this little one. We're going to go ahead and anneal these a little bit more and keep on making them into rings. Selfless plug, give it away. I don't know, man. This silver is pretty expensive. I I will be adding them to my uh, website here pretty soon. These are going to be the the demo rings. So this is the first time I've actually done this. You guys are seeing me kind of do some prototyping live here. I do offer lots of different other types of rings on my website. If you want to check that out, just click the link in my bio. 
or my profile or whatever, visit coinringmaker.com or buycoinrings.com. If you just want to chill and watch, that's cool. Gold is insanely expensive. Absolutely. I only have one gram of gold. It's itty bitty. And it cost me like 80 bucks. It's crazy. I'm just going to dry these off real quick. Thank you guys for the likes. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, what do we think of it so far? Is that looking pretty cool? It's shiny. Thank you for the rose. Let's see if we can fold this a little more before we start doing some fancy stuff. That looks like it's about as far as it'll go. That's about 17 degrees. All right. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to wrap this in Teflon plumber's tape, okay? And that's going to keep the metal die that I'm going to push this through from kind of scraping and, and squeezing these outside details. Let me find my tape. That's not the one I want to use. I just got this new tape today. This is called Blue Monster or Little Monster Tape. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining in. And thank you to my mod. Everybody say thank you to the mods. Kicking butt. Best mod in the game. Crushing it. Answering the questions. Helping everybody out. Getting rid of the negative Nancys. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, he's okay. No, dude, he's he's really come in handy, dude. I didn't think I ever needed a mod, and he he volunteered, and he's he crushes it, dude. Every time I get on live, he hops on and moderates. I can't believe it. I really want to try this. How much does the initial setup cost? I have a uh, recommended tool list on my website. Uh, you can see like kind of the starter tools and then the more expensive tools. Uh, I started with an investment of like 180 bucks, um, but as soon as I could afford more tools, I got more tools because having better tools just makes it easier. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and I've, I've probably spent several thousands of dollars on tools and coins. So it's, it's really a wide range. Double, double D, what's up, man? How much did you spend on your initial setup? Like the Arbor Press, that's like 60 bucks. The Ring Stretcher, that's like a hundred bucks. Thanks. I don't know. This is just a, a Harbor Freight Arbor Press. It's nothing fancy. There's after our first little push. Yeah, Double D, I'm making a, uh, 
an American Silver Eagle into two rings. So I've got this smaller one, and then we've got this one right here. It's a little experimental I wanted to try. So far, it's going pretty good. Let's see what Swedish wrap this will fit in next. No. There we go. Yeah, but I mean, the, the new tools make it a lot easier though, right? And I definitely think you should start out with like the most basic stuff you can. So you can get the basics and like the feel for it. So you can appreciate the nicer tools once you get them. That's the way I did it. I'm going to go ahead and anneal this again. Do I have a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's called Coin Ring Maker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can definitely start with a couple hundred bucks, but if you get really into it, you're easily going to want to spend, you know, two grand. <laughs> you're going to want new tools all the time. Oh, this is looking cool, guys. Look at this. That new tape is really keeping that detail on there. That's beautiful. Inside detail too. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Can you incorporate 24K gold foil? I'm sure I could. Gold's just an expensive material to, to mess around with. I do have a gold plating kit on the way in the mail. I'm super excited about that. So can you imagine having like a a silver ring that's gold plated? Or like a gold plated penny cowboy hat? I don't know, I want to gold plate everything. So I'm I'm really excited about it. I wish it would get here already. Gold-plated rat. Oh! You funny. You funny. I see you making jokes. <laughs> you want one? Uh, these should be on my website relatively soon. Like I said, with these American Eagles, this is kind of my demo ring I'm making right now. So I'm going to have to make a ring to take pictures of and list it. Uh, but there are lots of other rings available on my website and you can find them by tapping this picture right here and then the link in my bio and then there's a blue shop button at the top of that website and that'll take you to all my available coin rings and there's lots of cool stuff that you can check out there oh yeah it's a very satisfying sound for sure that quenching I'm just wrapping this in tape again, so bear with me just a moment. We'll go ahead and reduce it some more. My wife is allergic to bad gold. Well, that's no fun. There's our wrapped American Eagle. We're just gonna pop it back in this die and send it all the way to the bottom. Thanks for watching.
pretty cool. I think I want to go a little bit smaller. I'm going to pop it in there. And let's see how far we can get this. Not very far like that. It was worth a shot. So one of my pushers is like really messed up, so I can't use this one. So I have to try different types of pushers after I get to a certain size. Nice. Well, that's gotten pretty small now. We're gonna go ahead and try and even up this other side a little bit. Not quite even. Getting there, getting there. It doesn't hurt to go a little at a time. And thank you guys for visiting the website, man. I can see you guys hopping over there. I appreciate you checking it out. I'll go ahead and take a look at our ring. Ooh, boy. Look at that. got a little slight curve to her I forgot to remove this inside cut edge I'll do that here in a second but not too shabby well, now that we've got that one about done we can work on the little one Get the 2020 showing here and give you guys a good look at it. And we can actually fix this this kind of cone shape real quick. So I want to fix that while I'm still looking at it. And how do we do that? Well, with another cone. Check this out. I'm just going to slowly... Even that up. Look at that. That look better. And we can do just a slight. I don't know. I want to play with this a little bit later, but right now we've got this little bitty one to make. Let's see if that'll fit in there. I think it will. I think that didn't take too much. You want a stick or two? Uh, I send stickers out with every order. So you can you can order the cheapest thing on my website and get a sticker. They're pretty groovy. Now hopefully my phone doesn't fall apart. I have to use a different ring stretcher on this one. This ring stretcher is my super fancy one. It's my Pepe Tools one. And I only use it for very small thin rings. We're just going to slowly work this up, and this is going to help shape it and fold it at the same time. Make it a little bit bigger, a little bit at a time. This 
say, I knew my phone was going to fall hard, guys. I knew it. I wonder how big I should make this one. What do you guys think? Like a size 6, maybe? Check it out. There it is. I guess I'm stuck between filters. That's weird. There we go. So there is the little center punch ring. And there is the big ring. I think they both came out pretty cool. This one I could work a little bit on the shape with. It's kind of got a curve going on the inside but I can work with that just kind of wanted to see if I could do this uh, what do you guys think is that pretty cool do you like that I thought that was pretty cool Go ahead and sand up the edges of these. You kind of like the little curve on it? it? It's growing on me, honestly. Like most of the time I try and get my rings as, as straight walled as possible, but I do kind of like the curve on this one. Sure. Uh, what kind of coins would you like to see? Let me see here, I've got it. A decent collection of uh, these are all silver state quarters like don't judge it by the bag these are actually in really nice condition but uh, if you'd like a silver state quarter uh, coin ring I'll make one for you right here on this live uh, you can f just order on my website and I'll, I'll make it right here no problem uh, I also have 90% uh, half dollars Morgan dollars pull out some of those no I'm in Texas there's a Morgan dollar I really like how the backs of these look on rings they come out looking really cool peace dollar these also make really nice rings. These are all 90% silver half dollars. I got, I've got a decent amount of them. So if you guys want one of them, uh, feel free to order. What I'm wearing right now, uh, this is a super worn down uh, Morgan dollar. So this is the first like two out of one ring I tried. I made one for me and one for my wife. So it's it's very similar to what I was doing with the American Eagle here, but it was with a much rougher coin. Like as you can see the detail on this is basically gone. Uh, so I was experimenting. I was trying something new. So I did it with a smoother coin and today you guys got to see me do it with this super detailed coin. Like I doubt any other person has actually held this but me. And it's just like brand new. Very nice. I like how that came out. And then we have the uh, the second ring from that same coin here. Yeah, and uh, 
if after or during this live or you, you get a wild hair and you want to check out my rings, you can just go to buycoinrings.com. It's a website I just bought yesterday and set up. So that's that's separate from my like informative coin ring maker site. Um, it's just my shop, so it'll take you right to the store. Uh, it's called buycoinrings.com, and from there you can see all all the different stuff I offer. Just make it a little easier for you guys. I've had people have a lot of trouble navigating, so I I made you guys a little shortcut. Yeah, Silver Eagle. That's what this was. 2020 Silver Eagle. About 30 minutes ago, it was a coin. Can I do size 15? Absolutely. Uh, on size, on quarters, I can do up to size 13, but halves, dollars, American Eagles, I can do 15, not a problem. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit and then reduce it again after I get rid of this uh, this inside cut edge. Just to see if we can get these walls a little straighter. So I just used the deburring tool to get rid of that kind of lip on that inside edge there. It's really uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you, if you leave that edge there, it's just like really sharp and uncomfortable. So this way it's a lot smoother and you get this little shine. So I, I actually like that a little better. tape it up and then push it back in that reduction Swedish wrap die just a little bit to try and even up those walls.
Are you going to offer a couple rings? Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm working on right now. This is kind of like the the demo ring. So I don't currently have that option listed. I have to make a few of them so that I can take pictures to make the listing for that. Uh, but that's, that's what I'm working on right now. Because I've got quite a few American Eagles I would like to make into rings. But everybody wants the two for one. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about them. I really like it. I like like the the symbolism behind it. I I really like having a ring that I can wear that my wife is wearing the same same coin. Now, doesn't that look nicer? Like I know you guys were saying you like the curve, but I really like the straight wall. I think that looks nicer. ring that would come with it. I, I don't know. I think that's a pretty cute little set right there. That's pretty cool. Well, if uh, any of you guys still watching would like to have a coin ring made right in front of you, you can tap this button right here and then tap the link in my bio and order something. And if you order maybe the next five minutes or so, I'll, I'll make it right here in front of you. Because I'm all caught up on this. Yeah, I've still got, I've still got some, uh, some polishing to do on these. These are still kind of rough. But I just wanted to get the general shape. Do we like it though? Do we like it? The American Eagle coin ring. I'll probably still make it for you, Mr. Uh, Mountain Biker. I I'm a people pleaser, so I, I can wait half a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll go even further than that. I'll say whoever orders next will definitely get to see their ring made right now on this live. I'll guarantee it. Thanks, Double D. Have you enjoyed the live so far? Have you <laughs> go W? <laughs> That's great. That's great. I do have a West Point uh, American Eagle. That that'd be uh, that'd be pretty extreme. God, that ring looks good. Hey, I think I did a pretty good job on that one. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm check and see if we've got any outstanding orders. Yeah, thanks. Thanks everybody for joining in and watching. If you guys think this ring looks good, go ahead and type nice ring into the comments. If you think it's ugly, say ugly ring. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's <laughs> it's pretty gorgeous. <laughs> Can you make me one? How much? Uh, all my prices are on my website. You can find them by clicking this button right here and then the link in my profile or my bio. 
and uh, there's lots of different options going from like ten dollars up to about 200 uh, currently the american eagles aren't listed yet they will be listed within the next week this is kind of my demo ring so this is uh, what i'm going to be taking pictures of in that listing so I, if if you would like an american eagle uh, i suggest following me because i'll be posting videos as soon as they're available Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I wonder how close I can get on it. Can you see me? Hi. Hello. The eagle, um, for a single ring out of an eagle, is going to be 200 For the double ring set, I'm thinking it's going to be 280 Um, Like I said, this is the first one of those I've done. Uh, but I'm I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be. Is there a particular year you're interested in getting? Yeah, you gotta love that silver. I'm gonna polish this up. I'm gonna get it really shiny. Silver, silver. Yeah, 90% coins are pretty good, but these American Eagles. Whew. Sheesh. Well, I think I've got about four different dates at the moment. It's kind of hard to stock up on these. Um... So if you do decide there's a specific date you're looking for, it, it's good to give me a little heads up so I can track one down for you. And I'm just going to give this a nice little hand polish real quick. Kind of buff it up. And this will probably go in the tumbler in a second here too to really get it popping. I don't know, man. The more I look at this ring, the more I'm like, this is pretty. Like, I did a good job. Sorry about the dead air, guys. Give me just a second. Look at that. Oh yeah, the light loves it. Look at this, we have a, a beam of light shooting off of this thing, it's so shiny. Beautiful. How cool is that? Let's see how shiny we can get the little one. Calm down you. Give you guys a look at some of the inside details there. I make the women's ring larger and the men's ring larger. I prefer a smaller band. Dude, I just got some of it today, this monster tape. I'm I really like it. Like this is the first ring I've done it on. This is as thin as I can get this band at the moment with the punches I have. That's a three-quarter inch punch. I think I need to get an inch punch to make it even thinner. And I, I just don't have one at the moment. So this, this is really, like, the best sizes I can do on the two rings. No, I understand. It's something I want to play with, but with the tools I have currently, this is kind of my wall, if that makes sense. This is kind of as far as I can go with this idea at the moment. But this size band really isn't too bad. It's the same as the one I wear. You can see they're the same height or thickness. And uh like it's not super it's not super huge. It's a little it's a little chunky. 
but compared to like what I was doing when I first started with the Morgans, like can you see, I don't know, those are about the same height. It was my first American Eagle. You can see a little bit of difference between these two. Yeah, the D.